How did you become involved in photography and especially horse racing photography? Um, wow. I have been involved in photography since high school and then did it at university and then went to college for it. Um, so I've done it. It's always been my thing, I guess. Uh, always hoping it was my career path, which luckily it is. And then I got involved in horse photography specifically uh, after uh, college I got a placement at the London Free Press and from there I worked with Dave Briggs at the Free Press mm -hmm. and when he got his job I'm sure he's heard me tell the story uh, he got a job of course at the Sportsman and he mentioned that the photographer at Mohawk at the time was looking to get out of the business and he recommended me to him and him to me and we connected and that was in March 25 years ago. And how has your position as the track photographer evolved since you started in regards to the digital landscape? Uh, it's changed dramatically, as you know. We used to shoot all film and uh, print everything. And uh, for trade magazines in the U.S., we used to print and then FedEx overnight quickly so they could get stuff on Monday or Tuesday for their publications. And now with digital, of course, in about, I think, 2003 or so, we went digital and we've never taken any film since then and everything is instant and fast and we either email or upload or, or print in our office right away. So it hasn't gotten any cheaper, to be honest, because the cameras are a fortune uh, and the memory cards and the printers and the paper and all that stuff. But it's gotten a whole lot faster and I think the quality is a whole lot better. And tell us about your 2021 Media Excellence winning photo and what led you to capturing that image? Uh, so that was taken after one of the winter circles that night, probably second or third race off the top of my head. And the fog was rolling in and people were warming up. And I've shot stuff like that before, uh, but by pure luck, the horse looked in the perfect direction. The light was perfect. Um, there was another horse off in the distance to give you some depth. And it just, and again, I've shot probably hundreds to thousands of those specific images, but this one worked out perfectly. And whereas usually I go back and, and delete just tons of images because there's nothing great. This one just just rolled off the camera perfectly and published it right away. And then actually one of the owners of the horse messaged me on Facebook and said, I've got to have that picture. And that's how I know who it was. Um, and it just, just worked out well all around. And after a year of capturing some of the greatest moments in the sport, how do you choose just one photo to submit for consideration? Um, I generally browse my either Instagram or Facebook feed and I get some cues from, you know, all the people who are subscribed to the Facebook and the Instagram and Twitter and I see what they like the most and then I narrow that down to the top two or three and then I figure out which one's got the best composition, lighting, focus, all that stuff and then just pick one and hope for the best. And what does it mean to you to win your sixth Media Excellence Award in photography? Um, I. You know what, one of my best phone calls all year is hearing from Kathy, Kathy Wade Vlar, uh, in, I guess it's end of December, or early January, when she calls, and hopefully she calls and says that I'm nominated, and I love hearing from her or getting an email from her, and it means a lot. I mean, this is the industry that I work in, and I love basically everything about it, so to be recognized by this industry means a lot to me. And what do you love most about taking photographs of horses and harness racing? Um, you know, I love everything about it. My day starts off here beautifully when I come in and everyone's warming up and I set up my files in the computer, hope for good weather. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, it, it's nice to work in your profession, just like I guess the horse people work in their profession. And mm -hmm. I love taking photos and I love seeing them right away on the computer and then having people come in and when they're great photos and they're excited people, it, it makes for a wonderful night and, and a wonderful year. And aside from horse racing, what's your favorite thing to photograph? Uh, probably my family, right? I'm here, you know, four or five nights a week, depending on the season. And aside from this, I'm basically just shooting family shots and travel shots and dog shots. And my daughter rides, so more horse shots. So that basically fills my days. Is there a place or event that is on your bucket list that you would like to photograph? Um, I guess horse-wise, um, I still haven't made it to the jug, so I'd probably like to make it to that. Um, I'm pretty spoiled because, you know, most of the year's big events are right here at Mohawk, so I get to cover all the stuff that's 
you know, makes the year and makes the horse the year and makes the drivers years. And it's, it's great being at basically the center of the world for standard racing. So there's not that much on my bucket list anymore.